Well, the recent surge in anti-police rhetoric has been matched, maybe not surprisingly, with a corresponding surge in anti-police violence. That includes the recent death of NYPD officer Myasotis Famia, who was assassinated in a patrol car last week in the Bronx. None of it has been enough to mute liberals, some of whom at Salon.com. Days after the shooting, ran a piece entitled, America is Suffering from a Plague of Deadly and Unaccountable Racist Police Violence. The author of that piece, Salisa Kalakal, joins us tonight. Salisa, thanks for coming on. Hi, Tucker. Thanks for having me. So, um, I, I guess I have a more nuanced view of this. I, I think that there is behavior by police, as there is by, you know, every sector of society that's impossible to excuse and that should be cracked down on. I guess what I, I, I disapproved of in your piece was the generalizations that you made, that police as a group are racist and violent. And I, and I wonder how you reached that conclusion. Well, in my piece, I never actually said that police are racist. What I talk about is police violence and the rate of police officers who kill civilians in recent years. If you look at the numbers, in 2015 and 2016, over 1,000 people have been shot and killed yes. by police officers. It, those numbers don't lie. And this year, um, over 500 people so far have been killed by police. So what I'm talking about is police violence that kills a lot of people and so a lot of those people are unarmed or they don't pose a threat to officers and those are alarmingly high numbers so in my piece I don't I never say that police are racist but um, they do well, can get violent very quickly as we've seen in a lot right. of right I mean I, I don't want to you know I don't want to contradict you because you seem sincere but we've I don't know if you can see we've got the headline of your piece up on the screen right next to you. it says and I'm quoting America is suffering from a plague of deadly unaccountable and racist police violence, a plague of it. That seems like a generalization now. I would agree with you completely. Any shooting is too many shootings, but this is complicated stuff. And so to dismiss it as your piece did as racist without proving that seemed unfair and not really like journalism. Well, if you look at the demographics of the people that are killed by police, disproportionately a number of them are black and brown people. Black people are three times more likely to be killed by police mm -hmm. than white people. And in a lot of cases, 69% um, of black people that are shot and killed by police are actually unarmed or they didn't pose a violent threat. So in my piece, I show that um, police violence disproportionately affects the black and brown communities um, more so than other communities. So Okay, well, but they're also much higher. I mean, this is, again, a complex matter. Mm -hmm. And there are much higher crime rates in those communities for, you know, who knows why, but they are, there are. And so that may be a factor in this. But here are some numbers that I think show just how complicated this is. So there was a study a couple of years ago of the about 2,700 police shootings between 2013 and 2015. And I'm quoting now, found that the odds of a black suspect being killed by a black officer were consistently greater than the odds of a black suspect being killed by a white officer. It doesn't prove anything necessarily, but it does maybe show that racism isn't as simple in this context as you're making it sound. If a black suspect's more likely to be shot by a black cop, then what does that tell us about racism? Well, I think what it tells us is we have to look at the system and not the individual police officers that are killing these people. Systematically, the way police officers are trained, they're taught to go for violence first in a lot of states they don't tell you they don't tell police officers um, to resort to other means to subdue right. a subject other than shooting and killing them so okay it, but, but, but hold on but uh, right there, there are two different things you know whether non-lethal force ought to be used first is a valid question but i want to get to the question of race so and i'm quoting white officers statistically less likely than black officers to kill black suspects so if all cops are being taught to be racist why are black cops more likely to shoot black suspects? It doesn't really make much sense, does it? No, it's, you're looking at it individually. When you, it needs to be looked at as a I'm systemic... I'm looking at the numbers. No, it's supposed to be... It's, you have to look at it in a systemic way where you look at the system that allows these police officers to m commit these acts of violence, and then they don't get held accountable for it. We've seen time okay. and again police officers getting off um, on killing another person um, Geronimo Yanez, who was shot and killed for right. no, no, Castillo, I, I, he was acquitted I get it, but, of all but, charges. But you're, you're, I mean, again, I don't want to be mean, but you're maybe dodging the point a little bit. Here's no, the, I and think, I think some <laughs> of the issues that you're raising are valid issues. I don't want anybody 
to commit brutality against anybody else, and I, f I mean it. Mm -hmm. But to charge that racism is at the core of this without any evidence, because you actually don't have any evidence at all, and there's some countervailing evidence, makes people more fearful, makes them hate each other, makes our society way less happy and less trusting. And so it's a big deal to charge something like that. And don't you think you should pull back until you can prove it? I guess that's my point. Well, I do think I do prove it in my piece because if you look at the statistics and you look at the data, police violence disproportionately affects black and brown bodies. And it always has. Throughout but history, why are black cops more likely to shoot black suspects than white cops are? How does that fit into your neat little racism package? I, I don't get that. It doesn't well, make any sense. Well, as police officers, they're part of the police system in this country that no matter what race you are, you still are taught the same tactics. But why are they more likely? I mean, it doesn't... Look, again, I just want you to open your mind a little bit. This isn't college. And just, like, look at the facts and then draw your conclusions from those. And sometimes, you know, you reach a point where you're like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but it's not as simple as my professors told me it was. That's all I'm hoping that you'll conclude. Okay, well, I think you're missing a point a little bit about what I was okay. trying to get at in my article and about the seriousness of police violence and why we need to right. address it in a meaningful way. Okay, well, I'm, I'm with you uh, in some ways on that. I just, the race stuff is wrong. So, Lisa, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.